Ai, 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 This is Marine Corps Boot Camp in Paris Island, South Carolina. Before they become United States Marines, all recruits have to graduate from the Marine Corps' 13-week basic training program, which tests them physically and psychologically. No, I feel sorry for you! It's a pressure cooker for 12 weeks. One of the pre pressure of an intimidating drill instructor, someone that's putting you under the scrutiny of attention to detail every single day. And to a certain degree, everything you do is never going to be good enough. Everything at boot camp sucks. It's going to hurt. It's going to be painful. But it's only going to hurt more if you look at it that way. Around! 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 It's boot camp, and it's supposed to prepare you for the challenges that lie beyond. No! 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 We spent five days at Paris Island, where we saw different companies at various stages of training. You will not run, you will walk in on the yellow footprints right now. Sir. You will do what you're told to do, what you're told to do it, and without question, do you understand? Yes, sir! On day one of boot camp, new recruits arrive at the receiving barracks, where they take their first steps toward becoming Marines by walking through these silver hatches symbolizing the threshold between the outside world and Paris Island. You walk through these silver hatches! Once and never again do you understand? Oh, yes, sir! Once inside, recruits are processed and assigned to their platoons. Put it up! Yes, ma'am! I know you were told us to come with your hands down! Put it up in a butt! In a butt! 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 I'm ma'am! After graduation, Marines commit to a minimum of four years of service. Upon entering the Corps, an entry-level private will earn around $20,000 a year. Sit down. Yes, sir. Recruits are required to make a phone call Aye, to a family member or their recruiter to let them know they've arrived. This is Recruit Hatcher. I have a safe from that parasite. Please do not send any food or bulky items. They're only allowed to read the script printed for them inside the phone bank. I will contact you in seven to nine days by letter with my new address. Thank you for your support. Goodbye for now. Yes, sir. Get in the club. Hey, sir. Recruits are given three chances to get someone on the line. Sir, my recruit is not answering, sir. Call him again. Not every recruit is able to make a connection. If there is no answer, hang it up and close it. Aye, right, sir. But they won't have long to dwell on it. The Marine Corps Recruit Depot in Paris Island sits on 8,000 acres of the south. South Carolina Low Country. It's one of two enlisted recruit depots in the United States. The other is in San Diego, where only male recruits are trained. Around 20,000 recruits graduate from Paris Island every year before joining the more than 180,000 Marines actively serving today. We take young men and women from all walks of life, all cultures. Maybe they were rich, maybe they were poor. They've got different religious backgrounds. They are the melting pot of America. And they come here with one common goal, and that's to be a United States Marine. Paris Island, South Carolina. Here, everyday Americans become Marines, the toughest fighting men in the world. Male recruits have been trained at Paris Island since 1915. Female recruits began to train there in 1949. Today, 
females comprise under 25 percent of recruits at Paris Island yes, and approximately 8 percent of the United States Marine Corps, the lowest percentage of any United States military branch. A recruit's day begins before the sun comes up. Their typical wake-up call is 0400 or 4 a.m. Recruits endure an intense series of physical challenges. 4-3! Am I hearing that right? 4-3! Yes, yes, sir! Fail! Some recruits arrive in better shape than others. Some never did anything more than sit on a couch, you know, as a couch potato. And some may have been collegiate athletes. So there's a vast spread of what their athletic fitness and ability is. Aye, sir! Much of their training happens here, in Leatherneck Square, where a series of intimidating obstacles comprise the confidence course. Go, you failed this event. May this have one more try, sir? What did I just say? Aye, sir. What did I just say? Aye, sir. Go! Aye, sir. The training program is progressive in nature. It starts out in a crawl, walk, run approach throughout training. 99.9% .9 of those that get here and complete all those requirements at the end of training, regardless of how they started. Any recruit with a fear of heights gets the chance to conquer that fear, courtesy of this 47-foot tall tower. Recruits must rappel down using two different methods. For me, the rappel tower was hard because I sort of had a fear of heights. Grab below my right hand with your right hand. You have to trust the rope. So there's nothing to be worried about. You'll be safe all the time. Can you please help me? I'm trying to help you. Son. I don't want to go down. Recruits with a phobia of heights have little choice but to face their fear. 